Support us by subscribing. Ring the notification. So what we do here is whenever an engine is in for any sort of maintenance or any kind of repairs need to be done on it, most of the time those components are going to be run to make sure that they are safe to be put in the aircraft. What we have to do is put it through several different tests at several different power settings so that we can subject it to a similar environment it's going to experience in the air. It can happen here on the ground where it's much safer and a much more controlled environment where we can address those problems without subjecting a person to it while they're controlling an aircraft. It's not out there in the aircraft where if something goes wrong, it's potentially life-threatening to the pilot. These are extremely smart, very adaptable, very strong engines. And the things it is capable of doing, especially in and of itself, almost autonomously, the computers involved in off are so advanced that they can perform so many calculations at a time that these engines, to a certain degree, are in control of their own flight, are in control of their own motion and the pilot guides it through where it needs to be and where it needs to go. That gives us immediate feedback, what's going on in the engine, where the problems are, and makes any sort of diagnostic and repair much simpler than it was with legacy engines.